Hey crafters, welcome back to my channel Because I'm Crafty. Today I'm going to show you guys how we restored this vintage and antique ironing board. So as you can see, the wood is really dry, it doesn't have much moisture, and definitely needs to be sanded. And that's exactly what we're going to do today. Now I got this idea after attending a family member's birthday party. They used the ironing board as like an entrance table and decoration table for um, the party space. And for my purposes, I'm going to use it as an entrance table as I walk into my new apartment. So I've just kind of set up a few things here just to show you an idea of what um, the use will be. Um, and this is what the finished product looks like. So you can see the wood looks a lot better. It's more moisturized and you can see the life just was brought right back into it. Um, um, it looks really, really nice, and we did not expect the wood to come out like this, but it turned out really amazing, so let's show you how we did it. So here is the before again. We're going to use some linseed oil, some sanding tools, we've got some different grits going on so that um, we can get the desired finish. And we also need a cloth to rub the linseed oil onto the wood. So you can see the grits here, we've got 400, 180, um, so that we can smooth it out in all the areas that we need. We also made sure not to sand the bottom portion of the ironing board too much um, because it already has the finish on it. We just kind of smoothed out any areas that needed it. For the top we did um, quite a bit more sanding and um, made sure to follow the grain as you're sanding it um, to make sure that all the edges were nice and smooth. And after we got the desired look of the sand and we made sure to brush off any um, residue, we took the linseed oil on the cloth and just rubbed it in to the wood. Now this day was a really super nice day and it was quite warm and so um, not only did the wood soak it up really fast but it dried really fast as well. So we did actually do quite a few coats on the top portion of the ironing board and then kind of a light coating all over the bottom and it just the wood absolutely loved this treatment it just soaked it right up and brought out all the cool colors and knotting and um, texture of the wood we made sure to tip it upside down so we could get all the little crevices underneath and get any little spots that are hard to reach when it's um, just standing up normally. Now this type of treatment may need to be repeated at another time um, so we've kind of waited to see how the wood does with this first treatment uh, but I've kept the bottle just in case uh, it needs another treatment later which it probably will in the future but this stuff is really good for protecting the wood and moisturizing it really nicely. And here is how I've set up the ironing board for now. I don't totally have my apartment completely set up yet, so I'm not entirely sure exactly where it's going to go, but for now this is kind of how I'll be using it on the daily. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little tutorial on how we restored this vintage and antique ironing board. I really love the way it looks and it's going to add a really nice vintage feel to my apartment. Thanks so much for watching guys, I hope you have a fabulous week, and I'll see you next time crafters, bye!